Hi, Scorpio. It's me. It's Julia with Scorpio Squad. Who else, right? <laughs> I hope you guys are all doing great and being safe out there for me. Uh, you know I love you and thank you so much for all your love and support you give me in the channel. For those of you that are new, this is a strictly Scorpio channel. And uh, if you like my style, if you like what I'm about, then go ahead and subscribe and hit your notification bell to all so that way you'll be notified when I go live and I upload videos. Um, you also may want to check out Patreon. I do do a VIP chat, which is really cool, where I get to actually see you guys now and talk to you guys and hear what you have to say. And uh, I'm also doing uh, another membership with bonus love readings for Scorpio and also another membership for Pick a Card. So you may want to check it out. And uh, if you want, then go ahead and participate on that. If you want a live tarot card reading from one of my live tarot card readers, you can... Call the toll-free numbers for the USA, UK, Canada, and India. Just mention my name, Julia, to get your first reading discounted. And don't forget, your $10 off birthday reading is waiting for you, Scorpio, when it's your birthday. Everything that you need is listed down below. Just click on Show More. Okay, I've got four different decks here. Today is October the 5th. I'm going to start with this one, okay? I call upon the Divine. I love you, gang, gang. Um, I call upon the Divine. I call upon the White Light call upon the Holy Spirit to come into this reading for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know for today? October the 5th, please. For October the 5th. For October the 5th, please. Okay, of course cards are falling down. Scorpio, I think there's one. Okay, here. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Card down, Scorpio. I'm going to go get it. I'll be right back. All right. Wow, you got. There's a lot of different messages for all of you. Okay, let me get them and let's see what's going on here. You know me. I gotta take them all. All right. Here we go. So the first one we have, you have like a bunch of them. Look, love. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. So I feel you have a connection with somebody. Um, the two of you could just be friends. But I feel that it's unconditional love. It's a very sweet uh, love. It's, it's, it's a friendship. Okay? You are attracted to this person. But I also feel at the same time, Scorpio, you are really putting yourself first. Um... Some of you may be in a third party situation or you haven't disclosed to your person that you're interested in, that you're actually interested in somebody else as well. Or somebody may have put you in a third party situation. Okay, listen, there's something from your past you've got to let go of. Okay, something that was not good, the person was toxic, mean spirited, whatever. you got to let that go. Okay, you got to go through that growth and change that you need to go through, Scorpio. Okay. I feel that uh, you may have stopped talking to somebody that you were close to for a couple of days. Uh, maybe you needed a time out. Maybe you just needed time for yourself. Maybe you haven't been feeling so good. Um, I feel the conversation is starting again. Okay. Also, some of you may have gotten an email from somebody from the past. Um, which kind of surprised you. Um, for some of you, may have even upset at you. Okay? Somebody from the past is trying to return. But that always happens during retrograde, and we are in Libra retrograde. Um, you do have many options. There's a decision that you need to make. Okay, here. Um, you may have had a one-night stand with somebody, or somebody may be trying to string you along. Um, so be careful there. Uh, somebody's really looking at your pictures. Somebody from your past. Somebody who you had somebody with. They're really missing you here. Um, a big message for a lot of you is really start self-indulgence. Have self-indulgence, but in yourself. Put yourself first, okay? A lot of you are ascending spiritually. And maybe that's why you're not feeling so good. Maybe you're getting a lot of migraines. Scorpio, but that's, it'll, it'll pass. Don't worry. Okay? You're entering into a new phase of your life, and you're actually preparing to come into union with your person. 
All right. Somebody, and it could be that person that left you out in the cold that made you feel like you weren't good enough. They may be returning. It's somebody who was always sabotaging the connection. Always, you know, disappearing. Coming in and then disappearing. Yeah, you see? They were the runner. Hmm. In the connection. Oh, my. I feel for a lot of you right now, you're really focused on your stability, on your security, on your growth. If you have a family, your family, that's what's taking precedence in your, in your present right now. Okay? Here you are. There may be somebody trying to come back and you're like, no way. I'm not giving you a second chance. You may just be ending this. And for you, the relationship is over. And you know that's a healthy decision for you to make. Yeah, and as I said, that healthy choice is Scorpio. Okay, so you're making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, being happier. How does that happen? That's so, like, crazy, right? That's wild. Okay. Hand of cards. Take a chance, risk, being strategic, options not showing hand, gambling. You're making some kind of plan for your future. But you're not telling anybody about it. You're just kind of moving slowly and letting things fall into place so you can make it happen here. I feel you're coming into union with your real soulmate here. And you, you're prepared to make things happen. I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun flirting wants to date you. So there's somebody that really, really likes you here. But they're taking things slow. It's a different kind of energy that you're used to. Yeah? But slowly, slowly, the two of you are becoming closer and closer and closer. The butterfly, relationship evolving to the next phase. Healing the inner child, growth. So this I like you, I believe, is becoming I love you. I want a commitment with you. I want to marry you, Scorpio, in the near future. All right, whispers of love from my Scorpios. Let's see what we've got for October the 5th. What do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio? Miracles are and blessings. Everything has its gift. So I remember I've been telling you. Oh, and for those of you that go, you know, you keep saying that nothing is happening. Well, maybe you need to change your thoughts and the things you're putting up in the universe so that you can actually receive your blessings. Or maybe the message is not for you. Okay, I'm just saying. I love you, but... In everything in life, if you have um, ascended and you are surrounding yourself with love and you've got this in sync with yourself, then you're open and you notice all the blessings. No, they don't have to be big blessings. It can be little blessings, too, that come your way, right? It all depends the way you think. You need to know that right now, Scorpio, that you can do anything you choose. You can. It's up to you what you want and what you don't want. Treasure your loved ones. It's important to love others deeply. So, some of you... Um, may have a child from a previous a marriage, excuse me, or children. It's very important right now, and I feel that's where you're putting your attention on your on your child or your children, on your home life. Okay. We also have relationship patterns. It's time to break those bad, healthy relationship patterns that you keep repeating over and over again. Okay, that's why some of you keep saying to me, "But Julie, I keep landing up with the same kind of." Yes, because you keep repeating the same pattern. So pay attention and really look at all your different relationships in the past and what happened in those relationships, right? And I'm sure you're going to see some kind of pattern there, either that you did or they did or something. And that needs to change now if you want to actually get into a healthier relationship. Be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. Back to what I was saying, right? It's the way you think. The words that are coming out of your mouth. The words that you are, you know, keep saying to yourself over and over again that may be negative, Scorpio. Not all of you are doing that, but some of you are. Change the way you think. 
speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change lives, including your own. I can't make this up. You see what I'm saying to you? Change your thoughts. Change your words, Scorpio. I love you. These are powerful words. So somebody wants you to know that they love you. Maybe you're not talking to this person right now. Slow down. Pause and allow things to unfold. And they will as the way they should, Scorpio. You don't have to rush anything. Act as if your partner is here, whether you have someone in your life or not. Act as if they are with you so you will always consider them. Take a chance on love. When we love, our lives are changed forever. That's what I was saying earlier, right? When you get all this lined up and you're exuding love, then it reflects out from you to everyone around you. Be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show you care. So there could be somebody that maybe they start feeling like you didn't care about them. Maybe you've been so busy with your own stuff and uh, you need to show this person that you actually care about them. You know, and make sure they're okay. Maybe they're not feeling good. Reach out to them, you know, and just see how they're doing. I know your, your schedule's crazy, Scorpio, but you know what I mean. Express love through gifts. A small token of love can convey great appreciation doesn't have to be a physical item it could be you know friendship support spirituality it could be anything all right let's see what the other deck wants to say for you today that's beautiful though somebody wants to you to know that they love you Vir uh, Scorpio could be a Virgo okay for Scorpio for Scorpio what messages do we have for Scorpio for today Okay, a bunch of cards came out. Looks like this is the first thing you need to know. So there is a love between you and someone else that's evolving. And I feel it's kind of like your destiny here. There is a new beginning coming. Scorpio, you and this person are transforming. Could be actual Virgo or Gemini. I feel somebody here is ready to take a leap of faith for a brand new beginning. You're dealing with somebody who's very creative. Could be a divine feminine here. Um, I feel this person's very honest with you. Um, I am also feeling you're dealing with somebody who gets a lot of downloads. This person has choices when it comes to relationships or new people, but I feel they're not they're not saying anything to you about it. For Scorpio, for Scorpio, Scorpio, you're doing a lot of thinking right now about what, uh huh, about your abundance. I feel like you know that if you want to be with this emperor or empress, that um, you need to be abundant, or you feel like you need to be abundant, right? I feel somebody is trying to control their passion and their love for their empress here. I do see travel though. So why is travel here? So we're definitely dealing, in this particular message, we're dealing with an emperor and an empress. There's a little patience that's needed before one can travel. In the meanwhile, I feel somebody needs to take really good care of their health and their well-being, all the things that they have left on the sideline. Um, there is spirituality. There is passion here. Uh, Scorpio, you need to know you will be coming together with your true divine counterpart. You need to trust that. Okay? For Scorpio, please. For Scorpio. What other messages do we have for Scorpio? You're ending an old cycle and getting ready to start a new one, Scorpio. You're a little nervous about it. Um, you may be dealing with a Libra here. Or somebody that you need to make things right with or they need to make things right with you. You will receive a message. 
I feel the divine is stepping in to make this happen. Uh, a lot of you could be dealing with an air sign, a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Yeah. Communication will start between you and this person. There's been no communication. Someone's been having a hard time uh, conveying what they want to tell you because they did you wrong, Scorpio. That's why. But it looks like somebody's going to open up and speak to you here. Okay. So it looks like for some of you, it may be somebody that you're in separation with that's already connected to somebody who's married. Or it's somebody who you are in separation with that's going to finally express to you that they want to marry you. For Scorpio, please. For Scorpio. For Scorpio. What other messages do we have for Scorpio? Here we go. Okay. So I feel I'm talking to a lot of Scorpios right now where you have inner peace and you have gratitude for everything that you have in your life. And that's beautiful. Okay. Others of you may be dealing with a karmic situation. What is this? What is this karmic situation? Let me see. Um, feels like that one. Yeah. Um, I feel you're starting to realize that uh, you may have been in a relationship in the past. It feels like this one. Um, that was karmic. And that you need to leave that so you can go towards the person that you actually love. I'll show you this. One second. This one. This one. This one. Okay. So let me show you how these cards came out. So your intuition is telling you that you got to break away from a karmic situation. I feel that you're actually mirroring uh, the person that you're supposed to be coming together with. Okay. We see here that it's clear as day that the two of you know that you're twin flames. Your divine masculine knows it too. Okay. Um, there is passion between the two of you. And I do see that whether you realize it or not, you're both manifesting this reunion to come into play. So I feel the person that you're dealing with is trying to release a karmic from the past. And you're still holding on to a karmic from the past. You're mirroring each other. So, you both got to release that in order for the two of you to actually come together the way you need to. Alright, Scorpio, that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed... Oh, I need to take your Animal Oracle card. Let's see what your guidance is. Sorry, Scorpio. Huh. Clarity and guidance for Scorpio. What do you want Scorpio to know, dear angels? What clarity and guidance can you give them for today? Here we go. Alright, Parrot Spirit, see... Watch your words. Again, I'm telling you, watch what you're thinking. Watch, watch what you're saying. If you're saying, no, I don't want anything to do with them anymore. Blah, blah, blah. Watch what you're saying. Or, uh, it'll never happen. Or, you know, just stop saying those things. Watch what you're saying. Moth spirit, surrender now. Just go with the flow, Scorpio. Okay. Make sure there's no gossip as well that you're doing. Don't do that. Okay, Gossiping is not good. Alright, lion spirit. Be generous of spirit. Again, you know, connect with that spirituality between surrender and uh, be generous of spirit. I think those two work hand in hand for you. Alright, I feel the most important thing in your reading is today, well, not everything else, everything else I said to you, but very important about what you're saying about yourself, um, about the person that you do love, what you want to bring into your life, what you're capable of, those things, okay? So try to pay attention to that, Scorpio, okay? I love you. You take good care of yourself, okay? Be careful out there for me, all right? Loving kisses, and I'll see you tomorrow.